Hey folks, Quillateen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play the Sunni Strike Back with Mad Jin and Shinner. How's it going, guys? It's uh, going. Uh, check the diplomatic view, Quill. What? The diplomatic view? Oh, it looks like Christmas! It does look green, like Christmas. Green and red. And look at the stripe say, yellow if I click on Kazan. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta say, the uh, your coalition's way bigger than mine. <laughs> <laughs> As far as uh, severity, yeah. Uh, you know what? You know what? I haven't seen. I haven't seen any French armies yet. Yeah, they're coming well, the, though. The good news is, um, France doesn't really like Austria. Well, France and Austria are allied, but that doesn't mean that the HRE is going to let them in. They would need to get access through all sorts of places that don't necessarily like them. You know, when we're when we're about ready to peace out of this war, you should probably declare on the coalition. Just because it'll be less several members, right? Or will it not? No, because it's completely separate. Never mind. Yeah, but I could declare on Austria and not have France join. Oh yeah, that's true. The Although... one downside to me declaring on Wales, as per your recommendation, with the stability hit, is I am overextended right now, so bringing my stability back up to, like, plus one, or even just zero, is going to be a bit expensive. Yeah. I spent 500 to get mine up to plus one. Even oh, though... hoo hoo Yeah. I'm Kazan. Everything is terrible. Everything is terrible. You're not a horde. You don't understand. You don't know me! <laughs> <laughs> Sitting here all westernized. <laughs> ah, screw it, let's do it. Uh, cool. Let's go. I I'm not going to bring you guys into it, though. I think I can eventually take the Welsh on by myself. You don't have to declare like today. I mean, like towards I the end of the it. war. Yeah, yeah let's I thought try about and that. survive the war first. They could jump into another thing, but I guess this keeps me at a higher stability and doesn't give me the two points of war weariness. We'll just have to remember before we peace out. All right, I'm ready. I'm good. I'm and almost. if you're really, really lucky. Milan looks like they're headed up towards the Dutch. Uh huh. So if Milan actually sieges out the Dutch, all of their two provinces up oh. there. That would be kind of interesting. <laughs> yeah. Could provide for some amusement. Although uh, the Dutch do have all those places down in near Kazan in South America. Oh, yeah. So if we Has survive. Has it grown this, since the last time we checked? Yeah, it hasn't That's what she said. You're being besieged. Did you did you lose something? I think Ooh. the Dutch stole your colony. They did. Good for them. They did? Yep. Yeah. It's Norwegian Zero. anyway. Ah, jerks. Alright. And it's about to finish too, so. As well. Alright, so I guess uh, let's continue. Go. Mm-hmm. Woo! Alright, so there's potential for some really fun amusement stuff going on here. Oh, local bay murdered. Put down the mutiny. Still no French armies. I'm really surprised they haven't done anything yet. What are they doing? I saw a French navy off the coast of Portugal, but that was it. If they're going to bring... Oh, no, here they go. They're oh, going into yeah. Switzerland right now. Yeah, 65,000. Yeah, they're chasing Milan. Austria declared war on Hungary for restore restoration of Union. Wait, what? Yeah, they did. <gasps> they did it. Unification war. Wow. Uh, make sure you siege down Pest. Uh, somebody's working on it. Yeah, QQ is going for it. It's a big coalition war. My goodness. It's very awkward, though, because we can't really get to France, can we? Yeah, there might be. Oh, a we can. Really. Yes, we can go across northern Germany, right into France. Yay. Yay. All right, so I should have Poland, Lithuania, sieged out here completely, shortly. Holstein's going for Denmark. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, God damn it! your fleet in the Gulf of Almeria. Every time I go to sink a giant fleet somewhere else... Yep. Like a crap ton of uh, Provence ships. France... I'm almost back there. In. Can you get in there? Oh, very close to being done. I'm losing ships like they're nothing because they probably are nothing. Oh, yeah. Are you still at Diplotech 9? 10. Oh, that's something. Ah, oh, darn it. There you go, I've jumped in there. I hate not pausing. <laughs> oh, you can pause, pause this, you gotta. No, no, I mean, normally when a battle starts, I have it set to pause. Oh, yeah. And just battles are ticking off and I keep losing stuff. I don't even know what's going on. Alright, French fleet is going down. Ooh, military tech 17, finally. Add some cap shock. And I'm losing money left, right, center here. So, yeah. Do I have the actual repair? No. Okay, my music just stopped. Didn't even bother. So I don't even know if this is recording sound at the moment. It is. Oh, it gets recording your guys' sound. <laughs> well, that's yeah, what we matters. Yeah, we can still hear you. Mm-hmm. We're clearly the most important. Book burning! Awesome, sounds good to me. Uh, when you're done with Lithuania, could I use your assistance up in, uh, Britain, Britain, Russia? Yep. They We're seem to have right staked now. claim. And right, rebels right, are now right, killing, uh, the Dutch bastards who stole my colony. Go rebels. But it'll be Norwegian rebels, right? Yep. Which is fine. Ten prestige to accept their demands? I'm okay with that. None of my vassals are going for Persia. Hold on. I need 98% to get the vassal on them, and it's up at 82%. And I don't think it's going to go any higher. I need plus 20. What's the uh, war target? There is none. I just stabbed. Oh. Well, then what gives you ticking war score in that situation? I don't think anything does. Oh. Yeah, really? you're screwed. Uh, I got the auto... Well, I, that's the thing. I need my vassals to do it. Or I have to fight Mughal Coalition. Well, I guess we'll just let that one go until they're willing to give up more. So what's your peace deal with Hungary going to be? Uh, let Croatia have a bunch of stuff. Croatia? I don't think Croatia sorry, has any Cro cores. Sorry, not Croatia. I mean, Crimea. That other one. Oh, you're just... Oh. <laughs> other C1. Yep. They're all the same. Whatever. Oh, yeah, and it's costing zero point. Zero Diplo to yeah. do that. Crimea spends the Diplo. No, not even them. Like, they have none either. It'll spend it. If you could actually check theirs, it does lower it. You know, maybe it would be good if I brought six more heavies to bear. Just saying. Uh, um, it's 218% to full annex, hungry. That is dumb. I could give Krakow back to uh, Poland. That's worth 52%. But then you have to peace out Poland. Well, I don't want Poland. Oh, we'll get Poland later. Eh, eh, whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to make Crimea bigger. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to take anything myself, because I don't need the aggressive expansion. Or actually, maybe I can. It's just really ugly. Boring cost. 101 with Hungary. Yeah, that puts them right back into the uh, coalition. Yeah, let's just do it this way. This will be fun. <laughs> make Crimea bigger. Britain's gonna Look at that. Stuff. Crimea's just going to sell them right back. Yeah, probably. If they do, then we'll deal with it later. But they might culture con or they might uh, convert it first. You never know. It's going to confuse Austria. <laughs> like, what the? <laughs> you can't beat them, confuse them. They're going to get that union, though. 
Oh, that's gonna happen, yeah. Actually, it's not a bad thing if they get the Union, because then we just have to attack, free a place out of Hungary, and then beat it back Holy to Hungary. Holy crap! Okay, the British fleet apparently left wherever they were, and now they're dropping 29k troops on my territory. Oh, British are hacking away at my troops, not cool. Oh, uh, looks like I... I don't know if I killed... No, I don't think I killed... Uh, I think Muscovy's dead. Or something. Might have destroyed their army. Alright, let me go siege up some stuff. <sighs> It'd be cool if Novgorod had an army, because he's got the cores. It'd be great if he was doing the sieging, but oh well. Muscovy made sure Novgorod had no army. Earth. So where is France? They are... They're in Brandenburg. Brandenburg? Yeah, watch out for Poznan. This is going so well. Oh, never mind, oh, he turned I around. More morale. I think they turned around. Y'all, where are they going? Holy fuck! Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> this, I'm gonna beat this, uh, this British army that's twice my size. Yeah, I've already I just won. killed what? Congratulations. I don't know why I scorched Earth and Fez then, because apparently it's Didn't not required. To. What the hell? Um, okay, I'm working on army smashing. So somebody else can work on sieges. Wait, did Kazan just declare war on Muscovy? No, Norway. What was that? Oh, Norway. I was like, what was that pop-up? Oh, thank making, you, Sicily. Just making sure I don't forget. Oh, I recruited the wrong infantry. No. Yay for vassal sieges. I think having four fire is really helping. Libya is part of Morocco. Well, of course. Oh, did you finish coring? Mm hmm. Nice. Are you uh, fabricating on Funi? Oh, you are. Look at that. Um, I guess I should come up and help with Sweden. Oh, could you? I guess you can go siege their stuff. I can indeed. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's not fighting. <laughs> yeah, they're they're getting rebels up there. Revolutionaries. Mm-hmm. They want to have a noble republic, Sweden. And I think that's a good plan. My army is stuck in Portugal. Well, ex-Portugal. Blonde's just sitting at home now. They're like, yep, you know what? For this. <laughs> We're staying at home. Syria and Venice are just running all over the place. Okay. There. We're doing okay. okay. Oh, look, Britain wants white peace. With you specifically. Oh, oh, no. That's everyone. That's what? the whole war. Yeah, yeah, the whole world. You know what? It's because I'm smashing them. It's, it is. the massive Moroccan military might. 
You West realize massive, but you realize massive. they're fighting you with no generals down there. Shush. No, I'm, I'm just feel good about myself. There's nothing they're, wrong they're with it. I'm just saying that's actually. it's a thing. Stack behind and no, no, they keep making mistakes. The British army makes mistakes. No, surely, you're, surely you're the one that's mistaken. Mm-hmm. I've been told now. Uh, before we peace out, certainly. Oh, we're not. We'll do the now. Welsh thing, but I didn't think so. You guys, I'm sure, have grand plans. Well, I'm fine with uh, just taking a little bit for the vassals. Because this really wasn't a war that we intended to have, right? But we didn't intend to have it, but we've got it. So it must right. well do it. Well, sure. But the question is, how much do we want to do? We're going to get another 15 points for owning my capital. We can get another 4 points for battles. But that's about it. The rest is simply up to sieging. Yeah, that's fine. Good way. Oh, where does Navy go? Trying to bait me into doing something. I can tell. Ah, what do you mean, guy died? Yeah, although we should do something before things go bad. I don't have a fleet left, do I? They all died, didn't they? Oh, what? My fleet. You got forty-seven trade ships. Yeah, but I had thirty-something. Not trade ships. <laughs> Galleys? Yeah. Oh, Milan just... He's sitting in the mountains. Milan's being smart. Ah, uh, Siege Bari again. Stupid Moroccan name. Stupid place. <laughs> but how do you really feel? Um, so, yeah, Sweden's missing. Base. Yep, I'm going to their capital. Uh, they are retreating, though, so they're going to recover. Yeah, I'm working on it. We're actually surviving this war way better than I thought we would. I think that's yeah, because fine. France is very much distracted. Oh, no, he attacked Milan in to roll, and he's going to slaughter him. Yep. Yep, but that's fine, though. Like, they've really been a non-issue. Okay, Britain is going to attack me in the Gulf of Almeria. Why do I have troops in Jalen? What the actual fuck? What? What? No, oh, get out of there. What is this? Do not want. Oh man, I'm losing troops by the handful. I just all lost right, a battle on. that I didn't even know was going to happen. I lost almost all my troops. Wow, bad. Uh, Sweden's, na Sweden's army is in Smaland, by the way. Uh, it's down. It's coming back up. Yep. Like a fine wine. What? Am I going to lose That's this army? Wine. Am I really going to? Oh, God. Which army? In Neumark. Brandenburg's going to kill my retreating army. No. I'll just delete it. Whatever. Donna is trying to come save you. Don't worry, I, I didn't need an army anyway. All right. Well, Thirty-seven out of one hundred and forty-four. That's that's a solid army. Bam. Yep. Did Peasants. I just get six war score for that? I think I did. Completely stacked an army. That initial twenty-nine k that Britain landed on my shores is gone. Very nice. Uh, we should I get you a medal. I think so. I'm gonna be one of those like crazy dictators that's got the military outfit with like fifteen thousand medals hanging from the chest. And even stand upright. That's what I want. Make it happen. Oops. Be sneaky, Sweden. We're getting rebels all over the place here. No, that's that's not possible. <laughs> we have the most stable governments ever.
Oh, I'm just chasing around these guys. I don't know what's going on here. Woo. Lots of craziness, and I'm losing money left, right, and center still. Uh, taxes. Nope, still at minus 16. Ew. Uh, it's a lot of it is uh, reinforces, reinforcements. And what's with all these rebels? Oh, I don't care about the gender rebels. Not my problem. Need more cannons. Especially given my manpower situation. Poor Milan. Getting beaten up every time we go into a war. Yep. Well, it's good though, because they don't really count for much. How goes the annexation? 54%. Currently predicted to end in 1630. When uh, when Lombardia falls to the French, your annexation will pause. In fact, I'm surprised they didn't pause it right away. I thought it uh, stopped when you were at war. No, just if something gets sieged. Oh no, no, no! Get in there! You! Uh, oh, still one, because they ran away. They saw you back, yeah. Yay, cool. Yeah, I was trying to get I, I was trying to get in there, but pop ups kept coming and <laughs> Sure, blame the system. Pop ups. I'm up to almost fifty thousand British shoulders killed. Can I borrow the Gazi modifier please? Mm. Maybe. Okay, there goes Stockholm. Uh Diplo Rip plus one or plus fifty piety. What's my piety at right now? 75, so... Ah, what's with all these rebels? Brigand strike at pilgrims. Uh, wow, 19,000 Ukrainian nationalists? Yeah. Wow, you do oh, have a lot of rebels all over. Stuff everywhere. Lorraine just lost half his country to Trier. Alright, I think I chased Sweden out of Sweden. So. <laughs> yeah, he's sitting in Jalen, I see that. Alright, you've been chased out. Stay down there. Um, I'm going to send some next? more sieging armies. Alright, I'm going to send an army up to go play Smashy on Muscovy. Oh, look Lawrence. at that. He's, Muscovy still yeah. has an army. No, don't worry yeah, about yeah, that yeah. one. I'll take care of Muscovy. Sure. Oh my god, Saxa Lauenberg joined the coalition against me. No! Oh, he's not a vassal anymore. Aw. Remember, he used to be Thringia's little toy. Just snuck out. Uh, <sighs> heavies. No. So hard to tell at a glance how a naval battle is going. Let's see. If you're the one losing a ton of ships, it's not going well. Yeah. <laughs> And I am now. I'm out of heavies. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I'm six points off of being able to, uh, vassal Persia. <sighs> and there's just no way to get them out without going through the Mughals. But that's it! Oh, no! Oh, that was a fun session, though. Alright, 
Oh, goodness. We always leave off at, like, these coalition wars. Oh, man. <laughs> it's <laughs> yours, though, why. this time. And Castile's not the one running it. Yeah, Castile. Oh, it's not at peace. Oh, man. Look at France just carpet sieging northern Italy. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Yeah, see, see you, folks.